Okay. Um, my hair is not done, so I have a hat on, which I'm gonna kind of do it the, the I'm a, a boy way. So you guys just kind of bear with me. Um, hair's not done, uh, but it is what it is. Also, my nose is stuffy, so if you hear me snorting and carrying on, that's just because my nose is stuffy. All right, good. So we are going to do a cook with me. Um, I'm gonna make some, I was gonna say fried dumpling, but let me say it the right way. Salt fish and fried dumpling, the Jamaican slash Trini style. Um, I kind of taken on both ways and mixed it in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do first, hello, is um, I already had my salt fish um, boiling and that kind of thing. So we already got that out of the way. So I'm not gonna do um, any more of that. So we already have our salted codfish. Um, they call it scalding, but I did not soak my salt fish. I just boiled it and um, replace the water with cold water three times to help to boil off the salt. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to go ahead and make the dough for the fried dumpling because it needs to rise um, for about 10 to 15 minutes. So we are going to do that first. Uh, yes, I have my Dutch pot, of course. Um, so we're going to do the fried dumpling first and then we will go into, um, you know, cutting up our seasonings and all that stuff for the salt fish. Please remember guys that these videos are done live so if the quality goes in and out at any point it's, it's a live video you guys like everything i do is live and impromptu so if you know why you know why all right good so i'm going to get a bowl i'm actually going to get two bowls um i'm going to use a stainless steel bowl to Yeah, I use a stainless steel bowl to do my flour. And then um, I have another one to cut up my aromatics just in case. And then also to get the salt fish out of the pot. So there are a couple things you're going to need to make your fry dumpling. Everybody does this different. So this is my way, okay? Some people going to say, oh, that's not the way. That's your business, not my business. I'm doing it my way. All right, good. So I'm going to tilt you guys down so you can see everything that's going on. So for our fried dumpling, we're going to use some salt. Um, I'm also going to use some butter. I have some gloves here. Um, I have some all-purpose flour, but if you have self-rising flour, you can use that. I also have some baking powder. Okay, we're going to use some baking powder. And then you can use cold water or you can use cold milk. It's your choice. Um, I think we have some milk, so I'm going to use the milk instead. Um, but you can use either or okay so there is no right or wrong way when it comes on to what you decide to use to make your dough all right all right good so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to use this bowl to sift my dough in or my flour and my ingredients but i'm gonna use this bowl to measure everything that i'm going to use which i probably don't even need that so we'll just do it the impromptu way let me get a measuring cup. It's easier so you guys can see. Don't laugh because I swear everything is always all over in, in our kitchen. And that's just how it is. It is what it is. All right. So I also have a sieve or a sieve. Um, this is what I'm going to use to introduce some oxygen into my dough because I want my dumpling to be nice and light. But guys, you can do this any way you want, okay? You do this how you want to do this, period. All right, so I am going to do about three to four cups of flour. Well, it just kind of depends. So I'm gonna put some flour in there. I'll start with two cups. I'm gonna be quite honest. There's a billion recipes for fried dumpling, but let's be real, you guys. You do your fried dumpling the way you see fit. There really is no right or wrong way when it comes on to fried dumpling. Okay? So for salt, I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt because you do need to add salt. Okay? And I'm only measuring it for the sake of this video because me technically, like, I think I'm going to have another. That's enough salt. There we go. So I did three half tablespoons. So it's a tablespoon and a half of salt. 
And then we have our baking powder. The baking powder is what causes the flour to rise, okay? You need the baking powder, especially if you're using um, all-purpose flour, because guess what? Without baking powder, it will not rise. It will have no rise whatsoever, and you're gonna be miserable because you're gonna have some very hard dumpling, um, and you need the rising. Now, if you're using self-rising flour, you don't have to worry about the baking powder. Me personally, um, I, if I have self-rising, I will use it. If I don't have self-rising flour, then I will use all-purpose flour and then I will add the baking powder. Now, the Trinidadian way of doing this, um, or even the Jamaican way, some people add sugar. I don't add sugar to mine. Um, some people add um, baking soda. Some people add butter, which is what we would do today. Um, I just, I don't like to add sugar to mine. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of baking powder because I'm actually going to have um, a total of about three or four cups. So I'm going to do about a tablespoon of baking powder. Now, the more baking powder you use, the fluffier it gets. You don't want them to explode. So be mindful of how much baking powder you use. Um, if you don't have a sieve, you can use just a regular strainer and do the same thing. I just managed to have a sieve because there's some things that I choose to bake and act like I'm Martha Stewart, some things I don't. All right, so I'm gonna add another two cups of flour. Mind you, you know, I'm making dumpling for the fam, so I wanna make sure that I have enough and I think this is definitely more than enough. And then I'll add another about half a tablespoon of baking powder. I already have enough salt, so I'm not gonna add any more salt. Okay, so we're just gonna sieve our flour here. Everything gets put together. All right, good. So we are officially done with the flour, we are officially done with the salt, and we are officially done with the baking powder, right? So we have cold, ice cold milk here, and I do not like the feeling of flour in my fingernails, so you will never ever see me need flour without gloves on. I'm so sorry, I just... I know some people will be like, well, you know, no, 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 no. So I'm actually going to put on two gloves because I have nails and I know that you can puncture the, the glove that easy. Okay, so we did sieve it, but remember I sieved it two different times, so I'm just making sure that I blend it all together. But it's nice and even, make sure my salt is in there. All right, so I'm going to take my milk. And for the sake of the pour, I'm gonna just use my um, my little one, one cup thing here because I don't wanna run the risk of just having way too much milk and then the flour get away from you. And there's so many things that happen with this. So anybody who's ever need flour, <laughs> you know what can happen if you have too much milk or too little flour. So let's just, let's just keep it here. Now, I like to add butter to mine. Some people use vegetable shortening. Some people use unsalted butter. Um, my butter is just plain country crock butter. Okay, so I put about maybe two tablespoons, just kind of bland measuring. And then I'm going to squash my butter and my flour together. Now, you don't have to use butter. It's really a choice. I like the way it tastes with the butter. I feel like it keeps it nice and moist on the inside, so that's just me. Okay, so all I'm doing is just squeezing the flour and the butter together. It's gonna make it flaky. You can add more or less butter, your choice. I just, I don't like the way flour feels in my nails and I, am not, I don't have time to be sitting there trying to clean out flour out of my nails. Furthermore, can you imagine the amount of bacteria in your nails? Hence the reason why I don't eat dumpling from, from strangers. Okay, I'm talking over my flour, but when people, when I buy dumpling, I don't, don't talk over my flour, don't use your nails in my, like I'm real, 
real funny about that, okay? All right, so we have our flour and our butter. I mean, I could have added a little bit more butter, but I'll be fine. All right, so now we're gonna use our milk to knead our flour. For those of you that don't know what kneading your flour is, we're gonna make a, a nice ball, just like bread, but it's not gonna be as wet as bread, okay? This is gonna be a nice soft dough. You don't wanna over knead it because it makes the dough tough. So keep that in mind. So all I'm doing is just adding the milk and just kind of combining it together as I go. But you don't want to get heavy handed too fast. I actually used to hate kneading flour as a child, so even me kneading it now is aggravating to me. And then also you want to make sure that you are using either cold water or cold milk. You do not use room temperature water. And of course, you'd never use room temperature milk. That's just nasty. Um, but you want to make sure that you're using cold, like ice cold water or ice cold milk. All right, so I know that I'm getting to the point where I can start my kneading. I still have some, some flour hanging around. That's why you see me lift it up and pour a little more milk. So in Jamaica, they call this fried dumpling. In Trinidad, they call it bake. Um, some places say Johnny Cake. There's so many names for it. Festival, which festival typically has a sweetness to it. You can add cornmeal. I mean, if you were gonna boil it, you can add cornmeal. I've never really had it with cornmeal fried, but you can add it either way. All right, so for that little bit that I have down there. There we go. So this is more than enough to get me through the rest of my need. And then of course, if I feel like it's still too wet, I can sprinkle a little bit of flour, but I think we're okay. I'm gonna just scrape off the side. All right, so when I get to this part now, So it's slightly, it feels slightly wet, slightly. It's a little out of my liking. So I'm just gonna take a small amount of flour and sprinkle it on because you don't want it to get too wet, which that's enough to just bind it so that it can not be too sappy. All right, so I'm just gonna allow it to kind of sit Okay, good. So we're just gonna put that there and I'm gonna take some plastic wrap and put over it so that it can rise. Remember we did use cold milk. So with us using cold milk, it takes a little while to rise, which is why I said I'm gonna do it first so it can sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Some people do 30 minutes or longer. I've heard people even say they're doing it overnight. There is no fried dumpling on this planet that I'm gonna start overnight. If I'm gonna make fried dumpling, I'm gonna make it today and not tomorrow. So you're just gonna put the, the saran wrap over it, keep it moist. And we'll just set that to the side and give it a chance to rise, that's it. All right, in the meantime and between time, let me go ahead and clean up my area. Put all these items away that I don't need.
All right, so in this pan here, I'm gonna take my salt fish and just go ahead and start to break it. Now I use boneless pollock, but if you have bone in codfish, you can use it. I mean, you can go to any Caribbean store. I like the boneless because my family doesn't really want bone um, in theirs. Remember this has been scalded or boiled, boiling off all of that salt. Um, I did it for, I did it about three times for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. And then of course you wanna make sure that you do not add more salt to this because it's called salt fish for a reason. It is literally brined in salt forever. Okay, so when you get it, you wanna make sure you wash it off really well. If you're gonna soak it, then you'll soak it and change the water and then soak it and change the water. Some people do that all the day before. Me personally, I don't have that kind of time. Um, so I just boil mine three or four times. And I know that it still has its salt, some of the salt in it, but that's fine. Okay, I like some of the pieces chunky and some of them not so chunky. All right, good. So I'm just gonna rinse off my Dutch pot because this is what I'm going to actually use to make my salt fish and scrub out any of the excess salt that's caked up on the side. All right, so for those of you that have your Dutch pot, you can do what you gotta do. For those of you that don't have a Dutch pot, you can use a Dutch oven. But I highly recommend getting a Dutch pot, you guys. If you don't have a Dutch pot, go ahead and get one. It's one of the best investments you can ever make. Like, ever. Ever, ever. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut up our aromatics. Um, by aromatics, I mean different ones that we're using. So some people like to use bell pepper, some people don't. Um, you're gonna use some garlic, tomato. Um, I'm gonna use some green seasoning, scallion, a scotch bonnet pepper. Be super careful with these. Um, I have them in a freezer bag, so they were in the freezer. And then I have my scallion, um, tomato. So we had two tomatoes that were already in the fridge. And then these are called plum tomatoes, so I'm going to use those. And then we have a onion. And then I also have some vine ripe tomatoes that I bought today. So I'm just going to add... Um, another tomato, so I'll be using all three of these. I like a lot of tomato. And then I'm gonna use one of my small bell peppers. Um, I thought I had a green one, but I don't, so I'm gonna use one of my small red bell peppers. Some people like to use the bell pepper, some people don't. Your choice. Your choice, your dish, your everything, okay? I was just warming up the pan so that I could um, get all that water out of it. Now, today, I'm not going to use a cutting board and all that stuff. I'm, I'm doing it the Westing way. Today, we're going to just use a knife, clean off our little vegetables or whatever, and we're good to go. Okay? So, I have my scallion. Some people don't like to use scallion in there because they don't want the little bits or whatever. I like scallion, I think it, it tastes great. Okay, so I'm gonna wash that. So my scallion and my garlic, I'm gonna use first. Remember we froze the garlic the other day, so I'm gonna take out these couple frozen pieces of garlic. Our garlic is already washed. So we don't really have to worry about that. Okay, so you just want to cut your garlic up so that it's thin enough that it won't really affect the dish and you won't really taste it per se because it will basically melt in so many words. I might not actually use this much garlic anyway, but let's see.
The garlic smells so good, even though it's frozen. Yeah, I'll just use it all. Garlic is great. All right, and then for a scallion, you can keep it large if you choose to, or you can make it kind of small or smaller. So I'm gonna keep mine slightly chunky. All right, so that is our scallion and our garlic. That's gonna go in first. And then in this plate, I'm gonna cut up my onion and my tomato. You wanna make sure that the tomato is not too small. Okay, super important. You don't want the tomato like tiny. We're not dicing it, we're just making it nice and chunky. And for those of you asking, the Dutch pot is in my Amazon store, which is the link in the description box. If you click that first link in the description box, it'll take you to all of my applicable links, whether it be my website, um, where we're having our 1150 sale, the body care site, Flatirons, Elite Hair Care Canada, Elite Hair Care um, Europe, um, our Amazon store with the kitchen finds, these, everything you guys see me using from the stainless steel bowl all the way to the automatic salt and pepper shaker. All of that is in my Amazon store. And then I forgot to tell you guys, I'm using vegetable oil for this. Some people want to use like olive oil and all that. No, I'm, I'm doing it the original way. All right, so my bell pepper, it's kind of better that I had a green pepper, but I don't have any green, so I'm just using the red. It's your choice if you wanna use a bell pepper or not. You don't have to. You really don't have to use any of this. Honestly, tomato and onion will suffice with a little bit of garlic. My scotch bonnet, I'm not going to cut. So there's a lot of red here. That's, this is why this little bit of green is gonna help. I probably could use a green scotch bonnet actually. I'm gonna use a green one instead just so we don't have any, any misconceptions here. I'm gonna put a green one. I was thinking the same thing. Crystal, you mind? Remind me of the Energizer Bunny. Just keep going and going. You guys are so funny. I, it's not that I, I keep going and going, but who's gonna cook dinner if I don't? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna cut my onion. I know everybody's gonna be like, oh, you know, don't take the top off. I cannot cut onion like without it. So, so it go. Like I have to, I have to take mine off, I'm sorry. And then for your onion, you wanna make it nicely, like nice ringlets or even half ringlets, it's your choice. Jeez. So I'm gonna use the whole onion. It probably would have helped if I had um, used a, a bigger knife, but I didn't, so.
Now in Trinidad, typically the onions are not so big. They're a little bit smaller. Some people put okra in there. Some people put butter bean. There's so many things you can add. So we got our onion, tomato, a little um, scotch bonnet pepper, and then I am going to use this little bit of green seasoning that I have left. Put a little bit of that in there. Okay, so that's going to go in with our other items. All right, so I have my stove that I just turned on. Let's get our oil. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to bring you guys over here to the stove. And make sure everybody can see. Let me see if I can put you guys back here. Pot is heating. Um, I have it on a medium high heat. Um, I'm going to use some vegetable oil, which I had to buy another one. Hi, Edna. And hello to all of our other YouTube members. Hello, you guys. So I'm gonna put my oil in there. Now, me personally, I use, um, I'm not gonna say a lot of oil, but a good amount of oil in mine because we're gonna eat it with fried dumpling and I like to have, well, don't judge me, that's just me. That's how I like it. Um, the oil becomes kind of like sauce. So that's just my choice. You don't have to use so much. Some people, they want yours nice and dry. Uh, I don't like selfish dry. I like my selfish to have some, some oomph. But like I said, this is my way, okay? My way. So while it's heating up, let's see what we got going on here. Crystal, you need to pass some of that energy this way because when I get through watching you all day, I be tired, <laughs> Sharon. I can't be tired. Like, I, got, I have a family. Does Junie cook? Eggs. He knows, like, the kitchen is, like, my domain. He don't really come in here to, to cook. He knows how to, like, cook for himself, but he already know I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook. Thank you, Myra. Thank you, Tanetta. Hi, Mimi for life. I use a ton of oil as well. Thank you, Grace. You don't like yours dry. Okay, I'm not the only one. I need sauce. I never really understood why people like their selfish dry. I think that's odd. Like, where's the sauce? Where's the where's the sauce? <laughs> like, come on, give me give me a little sauce. Where's the sauce, please? That's good. Everyone in the family knows their boundaries keep peace. Absolutely. My family doesn't mind that I cook while they sit and watch TV and do nothing. Alex, Adriana, and Christian. I'm going to fuck up this one, y'all, and I never understood it. 
Okay. So. Ooh, my thumb hurt. Let me see if it's ready. No, definitely not. With this on one side. All right, we're gonna let that catch up, catch up a little heat. Let me turn up the fire a little bit because I could tell it wasn't really hot. Whew. Well, in the meantime of that getting hot, um, we're gonna fry our dumpling. I'm actually waiting until I'm done with the saltfish because I don't want to fry a dumpling. And then I'm not paying attention to one or the other and then they suffer. So I prefer to get through the saltfish and put it on the back stove and let it simmer while I then start frying the dumpling. Um, a Dutch pot is also a great thing to fly, fry your dumpling and it's nice and heavy, it doesn't burn. Am I cooking for Christmas? No. Um, so I'm gonna use the other Dutch pot that we have to make the fried dumpling. You can use a frying pan as well, which actually I'm gonna use a frying pan because it's heavy enough. Um, but a Dutch pot is ideal. And I don't make my dumpling like the traditional Jamaican. I actually make my fried dump dumpling like Trinidadians. And it's more like a flat bake rather than a ball dumpling. I like the flat bake over the ball. So that's why I said Trini slash Jamaican style because I kind of mix the two. Um, yeah. All right, look at Isla. Come on. All right, I'm gonna put this in there. So all we're doing is we're just stirring this around in the oil, okay? Just follow me, because I know some of you are just like, wow, that is a lot of oil. Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna stir it around because we're giving the oil flavor with the garlic and the scallion, but you're not going to burn your oil. I said burn your oil. You're not gonna burn your garlic, and you definitely don't wanna burn your scallion. And remember, the garlic was frozen. Right, good. Good, good, good. Now, some people, they will put their saltfish in first. Me, personally, I like to put my onions and all of that in before my saltfish. Okay, so I'm going to put my onion and everything in here, but I'm not going to put the stuff about it in here. And if you notice, as soon as you put the, um, the tomato in there, your oil starts to take on some beautiful colors. Um, my heat is still on slightly medium high. And because, of course, my aromatics were cold, it dropped the temperature of the oil, which is fine. It's going to all come back up. It's not going to boil. It's, it's definitely oil. And I, like I said, use my oil as sauce. Okay, so y'all see how the oil color has changed? That's what you want. The saltfish is definitely already cooked, you guys. So you don't have to throw the saltfish in there ahead of time. People tend to do that. I don't know why. I also like to use pimento seed in mine. Um, this is, or you call it allspice. I call it pimento. I like to put that in here too. So I'm gonna turn it down here so you guys can so you guys can see what I'm doing. You see it bringing itself back up to a, a nice fry slash boil slash whatever. Remember, this oil becomes a sauce. Now my favorite thing, of course, is to add ketchup. My father hates ketchup. My kids hate ketchup, but if it, as long as they can't taste the ketchup in it, they don't business. See that? Yeah. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my scotch bonnet. 
Please be mindful of the scotch bonnet pepper, you guys. If you are using a true scotch bonnet pepper, they are severely hot. If they burst, your pot is going to be on fire. Hey, Crystal, I love to watch you cook. I don't say much, but I'm always watching as well and watching you do here. Thank you, Veronica. You can smell it? Yeah. You don't even understand. This smells so good. You wouldn't even understand how good this smells. All right, so while it's at this stage, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my saltfish or cod, whatever you wanna call it. Well, more. Before I even add that in, I'm gonna go ahead and add my black pepper. So you use a good amount of black pepper. Some people like it, some people don't. I use a good amount. Here's the kick now. Some will agree, some will not. Remember, this is salted codfish. But I'm still gonna add a whole, what is this, half a tablespoon of moon spice. And then I'm gonna add some ketchup. Who don't like ketchup? My pot is not for you. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up really well before I add in my salt fish. Sorry for those of you that hear the pot, the spoon scrape in the pot. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down now to like a medium. Ooh, if you could smell this, you would understand. Not that medium, that's a little too medium. Okay, I'm gonna add my salt fish in here. You can get salt fish from any West Indian store. Spanish store, they call it um, the bacalao or something like that. You can get it from there. There's so many places you can get your salt fish from. Be careful of that pepper, as I was saying before. Now remember you guys, I used a lot of oil, but even with all that oil, the salt fish starts to absorb a lot of that oil too. So that's also another reason why I use a lot of oil because I don't like dry food. Okay, y'all see those tomatoes and all that in there? Yeah. All right, I'm, now I'm definitely gonna turn it down. All right, I'm gonna take a spoon or a fork, take my little or oil and stuff to see if I need to add anything to it. People like to just go off of, oh yeah, man, it's saltfish and everything's all right. No, honey, that, that's not how I go. That's not how I go. Mm. Do you like this one? Salt. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I scored the saltfish too much. Yeah, this one's something. Mm-hmm. Half a cup of scotch bonnet sauce. You guys know that's my fave. And then here what I'm gonna do. Put some ketchup in the bowl. You have to know how to season your food if it needs seasoning. So y'all just follow me, okay? Put a little bit of ketchup in the bowl, a little bit of black pepper in the bowl, a little sprinkle of moon spice because I think I scalded the um, saltfish a little too much. And I'm gonna take a small dash of water. You don't want to add too much water because remember, the, the water is just going to turn it into something else. So I just made a little, a little mm, thing for it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to add to it. The little bit of water is not going to kill it. For those of you that are so in tune. That's me. Sneezes. 
Trini don't like dry food either. We are saucy people. Thank you, Joanne. All right, so I'm gonna push this to the back burner over here. Okay, I'm gonna put the top on it first. So we're gonna put the top on and bring it over to the back stove. And just allow that to simmer for just a little while. It's cooked already, you know, guys, so it don't really need to simmer, simmer like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and start our fried dumpling. I don't need any seasonings for our fried dumpling or bake, whatever you guys wanna call it. You don't need any seasoning for that. Your seasoning is when you were making your dumpling. So I'm putting away all of these seasonings because I have no purpose for them right now. And then our dough is ready. So I'm gonna get my frying pan but you can use a frying pan, frying pan. Or you can use a Dutch pot. Um, I think I'm going to use this one, which it's heavy like a Dutch pot. So that will work. I'm going to turn it on. You don't want your fire to be too high. Hey, I missed you. I asked Grasshopper how you been and where you been. Oh, she's talking about Octavia. Hello, Octavia. All right, so my pan or pot is here. This one is kind of warped, just the same, but no business. Still gonna use it. And then the oil that we're gonna use, oh snap. One thing that I forgot, you guys, let me turn you guys this way. One thing that I did forget. Man down, phone died. All right, let's see, did I bring you back? Okay. One thing that I did forget to add to my salt fish is some apple cider vinegar. So I am going to add a whole tablespoon, what is that, a tablespoon? A tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar to the salt fish. That I forgot. That is the acidity that it's missing. So you need something for all of that oil. Now, had I used the wet moon spice, which is the paste, then I probably wouldn't have needed to add any vinegar. But in this instant, I used the dry one, so I definitely still had to add that vinegar. All right, good. So we're just gonna let that do its thing. We're done with the vinegar. Totally forgot. Totally. Do you get some recipes for Jamaican stews and soups? It's freezing where I'm at. I mean, I make soup. I don't have recipes, you guys. I don't, I never really, I'm not the kind of person. I'm an impromptu person. Somebody would have to stand here and write the recipes out. I'm not doing it. Hey, Pat. All right, so I'm gonna add some vegetable oil to my pot here. Remember, you are making dumpling, you guys. You're gonna use oil. Like, you're gonna use oil. Now, my, my pan is kind of leaning to the side. So the hood way to fix this is to just use something to kind of prop it so that it will kind of stay up where I need it. So I'm just gonna use my salt. A little salt salt bottle there we go so we're gonna let that heat up now here's the catch to frying dumpling if the oil is too hot the exterior of the dumpling is gonna fry too quickly if the oil is too low then it's gonna take forever and your dumpling won't have any color so this is the reason why I'm heating mines up on a medium heat um, mainly because I know what has happened before where the dumpling will burn the outside and the inside is not done and vice versa okay all right good. so i'm going to take my plastic off and i will show you guys how i make the dumpling and put it in the dough so i'm going to tilt you guys up just a little bit okay so we have our dumpling here if you guys notice it has risen or started to rise right you don't want your dumpling to be too big 
So let me tilt you guys up a little bit more, okay? You don't want them to be too big or too small. This could possibly be a little too small. Okay, I need my flower like this. Kinda like bread. Just like that. So even like if I was gonna boil the dumpling, I would even sometimes stretch them out. Cause I want them to fry nice and even and then I actually pinch the corners because this is typically where they don't fry as well, right? And then I put a little indentation and put it in my flour, just like that, okay? So you start seeing it rise as you start to fry it. You can boil a dumpling too, yeah. I would have made boiled dumpling, but they like it with fried dumpling, so that's why I made it with fried dumpling instead. First here, now food, I'm telling you. And I just pinch my edges. Okay, and my stove is still on kind of like a medium, medium high. We boil or fry them in Jamaica most of the time. Either or, most time in Jamaica, they eat more boiled ball dumping than fried dumpling, let's be honest. All right, so we have our first batch in. If you guys notice, they start to rise. That is how I keep them nice and uniform. That's why I pinch the sides. Anywhere I see a little whiteness, I always poke it so that that steam can get in there. So you see, even though I made them nice and flat, they still rise. So we have enough baking powder in there that they are rising, so they're gonna be nice and cooked and soft and all that good stuff on the inside. Neighbors above me are getting evicted. Oh, wow. I should call the popo because I'm sure he doesn't have a permit. Uh, fired was a treat for my grandmother or auntie. Beautiful. Thank you. This is also why I like to keep the heat on medium because I don't want them to fry too fast. I wanna make sure that I give them time to rise and give them time to cook on the inside. I notice your oldest daughter reminds me of my daughter when she was her age. The first to the kitchen and don't gain a pound. Yep, that's her. So either you can put your 
dumpling in a paper bag to observe the oil, or you can use a baking tray, which is what I'm gonna use because I don't have any paper bag. Um, and then that's, that's really how it go, you guys. Like, it's, it's super simple. Look at those. Nice and brown, and that's how you want them. And then on the inside, they're nice and moist and flaky with all that butter. Because butter makes everything better. You can use paper towel. The only reason why I don't use paper towel is because paper towel soaks up the oil and it keeps it in one space. That's kind of the reason why I don't use paper towel. You can use newspaper. So many things you can use. So here's what I do, so you guys can see. This is what I do. Okay, I take my little tray, throw a bit of parchment paper down, and then I put my paper all under it just as so I don't have to do a lot of dishes and the kids don't. And then that's really it. All right, so we're gonna take out these because they are all done. Okay, so we're gonna take these out, stick them over here. All done, that one started to kind of get away. You see how that one got too brown? That means that one was getting away from us. All right, so let's do some more. Depending on the size, I can do four or five at a time. You're just awaiting your plane soon. <laughs> there you go. Yes, that's why I said it's a Trini Jamaican style because I like my dumpling like Trinidadian style bake or floaters. I don't like my dumpling like the traditional Jamaican style where it's kind of bubbly. I don't really like that too much. The oil is kind of hot, hot. I'm going to turn it down some. You see how quick the oil got super hot? So I just turned it down a little bit more. So that should tell you, this is, uh oh, oh Lord, let just drop piece and everything. Can I use that piece of it? Oh. I have about that much left after making eight. So that should tell you like how much is still, or how much you really get from the amount of flour that I do. You can freeze them if any mixture is over. I won't have any left over. And I make them nice and big because the kids usually eat like one or two. Throw them in the towel and flag, <laughs> really? Do you ever use self-rising flour? Yep. I have some. If not, I'll use all purpose. Self-rising flour is the easy way. Self-rising flour works just fine. 
just no baking powder. Just add a little bit of salt. And then from the self rising flour, add a little bit of butter. Do it the same way. Just today I decided to do it with all purpose flour rather than self rising flour. Mm -hmm. Can use either or. Oh, geez. So after this one, I have one more pot of bake or fry dumpling, whichever one you want to call it today. It don't matter. Um, just one more and then I'm going to plate and we're all done. I know that saltfish is calling my name. <laughs> it is calling my name, you guys, definitely. And I can't wait to take this hat off. I only have it on because I'm on live. If I wasn't on live, this hat, I would not have a hat on. I'd be cooking regularly with no earrings, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, these look great. Is office expensive like up here in Connecticut? No. You get like, I mean, if you're getting like real sawfish with the bone in it, yeah, it can be expensive. I get pollock or, you know, if I want to get real extra, um, you know, I might get a little salted codfish with the name actual codfish on the front. Now that could run like $10, $12 a pack and then you're getting two packs. That's like $25. But pollock work just the same. <laughs> <laughs> Bacala or whatever, it worked just the same. They all salted. I don't give a damn. Okay, as long as you get the one that, that tastes like salt fish, we're good because nobody knows if it's salt fish or not. Only people that know if it's salt fish or not is the ones, the only difference is the one that's on the bone is darker. The one that is not on the bone with the skin and they don't have the skin and all that, it's lighter. Me personally, I don't care. I don't care. All right. So we're gonna take these out. So these are all done. I want the kind of light skin, but it can go on. All right, while those are going, let me just get my little pieces ready. Four, there we go. So we're gonna take these out. Mm, I don't like that light skin one. That one's still a little too light skin for me. All right, in the meantime, saltfish. If you go to any Spanish store, Spanish people, they eat it a lot. Cuban people, island people, period. They eat them. I know Pac said something about my light skin comment. I have a feeling. Hi, Danny. Ooh, you have roast bread food. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, roast bread food, nice. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take these ones out. We don't want them to over fry and get hard. All right, we have our last two. Here's our final one. So in total, we did 12. Am I near a Chloe? Somewhat. Breadfruit? I, I couldn't tell you if it's a fruit or a vegetable. I think it's a vegetable. It's hard to explain what breadfruit is. Somebody explain what, what is breadfruit, please. So J-Bay, it, it's not the same cod you have. At, it's the same cod, but this is salted, brined, dehydrated, slightly cod. 
So there's a little bit different uh, difference in this one. Crystal, you are cooking the kind of food that I love. I'm Bayesian and I live in Tennessee where I cannot get West Indian food. Are you making, you're making me hungry. Thank you. Great video. My favorite was the hens. The hens were great. The fried hens, those were great. All right, so we're gonna let that do its thing. Let's get this out of the way. finish So you see they're starting to rise, which is exactly what you want. That's another reason why I do my edges the way I do. I flip them. This is just my thing of poking the hole. You don't have to poke the hole. I just do that. That's just me. That's, that's just how I do mine. But anyway, give them a chance to rise and then we're done. They kind of, those kind of look like potatoes. <laughs> There's a salt fish there. So everybody can see that salt fish. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Salt fish, man. a fruit fruit that is grown here in Jamaica green round the texture of the bread tastes a bit like potato thank you grace because it's, I can never explain that so I'm not even gonna try all right so we're gonna take out this pepper because we do not need it but I want it to get away from the food mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yes. All right, we don't need the salt anymore. Our pot is stable. Do you guys see how they get? No, not you. Love the large screen better than phone this is my phone i just have it in landscape this looks so i'm gonna assume you said hood but good i like to make the ackee and selfish so i have ackee but i haven't made any selfish and fried dumplings yum, yummy thank you daddy who said your daughter can't cook in dominica in Dominica, we call them fried dumpling bakes. In Trinidad, they say fried bake, bake, floaters. In Jamaica, they say fried dumpling, Johnny cake. You can't say festival. Festival is a little bit more dense. Um, or they add sugar. Some people add sugar. Some people don't. There's so many different misconceptions to island food because everybody wants to make it so different. But it's all the same. I invited my American friends to meet my husband and our friends from all of the Caribbean crystal. My American friends asked me where 
your chicken bones went through. <laughs> All right, so these are the last of what I'm doing right now. So my dumplings are, are basically done. And then also the shape. This shape is more, the shape that I'm using is more of a Trinidadian shape where it looks more like a floater because theirs looks like baked. So they cut theirs in half and then they put the saltfish inside of it. And you kind of eat it like a sandwich. Same thing if you were to do shark and bake, it looks exactly the same way. But of course the floaters are a lot bigger than this. They make them wider than this. Um, but I just kind of mix the two recipes together because I prefer this shape over the big round dumpling by what Jamaicans make. Um, so to my kids, it's less doughy and that's just my take on it. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off because this one will be done in about 10, 20 seconds. I'm just trying to get rid of the light skin color and then we'll plate. You are always the first one with your hands ready for the food. I never see nobody like you. <laughs> All right, you guys, so <laughs> if you guys ever see how Adriana sits at the counter waiting on a little bit of food, she sits like this. Jeez, I'm peace, man. Look, look at Greedy. Wow. Just different. You ready? Mm-hmm, good. The way they, that's just called greediness, but okay. All right, good. How many you want? One or two? Two. Two. Uh, two. All right, good. Can I drink two? No. Mm -hmm. Why are you so vicious? Didn't we just have this conversation about you being so vicious? <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you. So we're gonna go ahead and add our soft fish. Okay, so we got our soft fish there. Now because he's not eating right away, I will usually put his in, I roll his bake into, what's it called? Foil. Foil paper, there we go. So I roll his up like that, kind of like a little vessel, and it goes into the microwave, just like that. So that's how his works. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Kiddo's time. You want sauce or no sauce? Yes, ma'am. Exactly. We all like sauce on it, right? You don't want to eat it dry. You need some sauce to soak up the actual dough, right? Okay, give me a second. I was gonna have you pass it out. Oh, give me a second. It's just breathing over my shoulder. You're making me nervous. This <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. Oh. Mm -hmm. Smells like a Starburst. What smells like a Starburst? The, the cap. Oh, yeah, because it's like um lemons. Oh, it's the, the, you know, the yellow Starburst? That's what it smells like. No, no, box. Yellow yeah, Starburst are lemons. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sawfish and fried dumplings. Here, Alex. That's you. Thank you. Welcome. Christian, you want one or two, son? Two, please. Yeah, if I said two, I'm not. Two. I don't need that much. Hold on, y'all. 
This one you're better. That's enough, you want to pour some out. That's good? Last two. Oh, you won't believe what happened. Hold it good. What? Oh, it broke. I hurt my finger. It didn't hurt too much. Like, oh. <laughs> See? So this one is mine. I like the oil in mine. Some people do, some people don't. But I need something to soak up my bread. Let me get this guy, um, the hot sauce, please. Hot sauce, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then I take... My great friend, for those of you that don't know, Grasshopper's parents own this company. It's called Grace Kennedy, but she uses her maiden name. So this is the company that Grace came from. You ever seen a lady called Grasshopper on my life? This one, but her family owns that company? Yeah, because her name is Grace. They named it after her, but she don't want nobody to know that she's famous. Oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> telling the truth. Oh, I'm telling the truth. She's the same thing about the hurricane, mommy. I'm telling you, she don't want nobody to know that, her, you know, she tries to use her maiden name, which is Barnes. But her real name is Grace Kennedy. She's Grace Kennedy. Okay? Her family owns this company right here. That's a big company. Anytime you guys see this company in a grocery store, just think of Grasshopper. All right, good. <laughs> I know she on there talking straight foolishness. <laughs> can, you, can you cut it open? Would like to see the inside. Absolutely. Look. That is the inside. Mm -mm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Sure. Where's my juice? Mm -mm. All right. So my hands extra greasy, but we'll be all right. Come with over here. Her cover is blown. I'm sorry. She didn't want anybody to know that her family owns Grace Kennedy products, but it's okay. Hey, Johnny, give me a fork. Oh, you didn't walk out of the dead, so I'm sure. Give me a fork, please. Okay. And I need juice. Thank you. Juice. Thank you. All right. So guess what? I got to take off the hat. I really don't have business what y'all think right now. That's not my care in the world. I cannot eat my food uncomfortable and I need my hat. So, I'm so sorry, Grace. I blew your cover. Mm -mm. It's nice. Huh? Where's the fork? I'm telling you, her family owns Grace Kennedy products. That's why she changed her name to Grasshopper because she didn't want you guys to really know. She actually really changed her name to Grasshopper. Oh. Kimberly, when you go into the grocery store, take a picture of the product that says Grace on it and then compare it to her and name it. I'm telling you guys, she's using her alias on purpose. That's how she has so much time to be on live because her family is a billionaire. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Warrior. <laughs> and then when you add the local Grace... He says, when you add a little Grace hot sauce, not Lasco, Grace. We won't eat Lasco hot sauce here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Eat the vegetable, it's good for you. That, that's on you in a moment. Okay, I, I know y'all sitting on there. Y'all about to be in her inbox like, please adopt me. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm not believe that one. All right. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't see that the grasshopper be talking about she drinking tea at one o'clock in the day and her maid brought it to her. Mm hmm. Let me tell that's rich people, you know. Well, no, go look up where Grace Kennedy started and see if it didn't start in Mandeville where she is. All right, good. Well, no, go and make grass up a phone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Listen, Grace, sitting there telling y'all stories about I don't know her. I know her very well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anybody who can drink tea at 1 o'clock in the day, every day, and sit on our porch and fl fl um, swat the fly them, clearly, your family own Grace Kennedy, man. Mm-hmm. What? I don't believe you. <laughs> Grace Kennedy is a very wealthy name. Mm -hmm. Grace Kennedy made it into Walmart before Alaska Products did. Just know that. I have friends in high places. I have connections. And here's the even bigger catch that y'all don't have. I have her direct phone number. <laughs> Not her assistant. <laughs> mm -hmm. Isn't it good? Did I tell y'all it's good to have people in high places? Is it the same thing with us, school, Mom? Connections. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Me telling her, oh, she's in, in twine. She are the first somebody I've seen that had a freight forwarder. I should give you the link, because nobody else can't get the link there. I go block me for real. <laughs> you don't believe me? No. Mm. This is the same thing about the hurricane. And the same thing with the solar eclipse. It's the same. No, it's not. I'm very convinced. You, you actually could... made me search it up, mommy. I'm very convincing. You couldn't tell me that Grace it was wasn't. Solar eclipse, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Why? If I'm convincing, put a one in the chat. Let's see who really believe me. You ain't believe me? No. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't, Mom. I told you, yes, you did. No. I have friends in high places. You said the same thing when I was talking. She's my aunt. Mm. No, you're not saying this that way. No, you're saying this sound realistic, Mom. We're related. Yeah, but then you said she's... Oh. Then you said she's like really rich and has she owns the company. Her parents or well, family owns that company. I don't understand what Grace Kennedy. That can be anybody's name. No, that's that's not can be anybody's name. Yes, it can, Mom. It's illegal to name someone Grace in Jamaica. You do know that, right? No, it is so not. So how she named Grace, Mom? Because her name is trademarked. It's not good to tell stories, Mommy. No. Grace's name is trademarked. It is illegal to name your child or anyone coming up. Grace. No, it is not. I want, I'm going to ask his grandpa. I... <laughs> it is not actually. No. Ask it grandpa. Is, it is. Just like in China, it's illegal to have more than two children. It is no, you're telling a story. You're telling a story. Her middle name was Grace. Listen, listen mm, to me. No, you no. get no. That's the middle name. You're in Jamaica, just like you cannot wear army fatigue to mimic the military. You cannot name your child the Grace. That's different. No, 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 that's not different. No, I'm gonna, her name I'm gonna is trademark. That belongs to her. I'm going to ask her. Mm -hmm. You cannot name your child Grace. It's illegal. Mm You cannot use the name Grace and you cannot use the name Kennedy. Or Lasko. You can't use that either. Grandpa said I'm telling the truth. He no. just said it on there. He said she's that. telling the truth to <laughs> grandkids. I don't tell him the truth. I don't believe in it. Ask Grandpa. With any of you. I don't believe any of you. It is illegal to name your, your, your child Grace because mm -hmm. Grace owns the name. I don't believe it. You cannot own the name. So, if they're not, if that's against the law, then why they name her that one? 
because she was before that. They, because of she her. She was born at the beginning when Jamaica was behind. That is before. Listen, when Grace came along, it became illegal. I don't know. Yeah. That does not make any yeah. sense. Yeah. Just because of yeah. one Do you child? have any friends named yeah. Wendy? Wendy? You have Wendy. any friends named... You have any friends named Wendy? Who? <laughs> <laughs> you have any friends named Wendy? I knew a girl named Wendy. How old is she? Well, now she used to be 13. We were in the same grade. Mm. It's illegal too. Where, mom? Hmm? Where? Where? In the U.S. No, no it's, it's not, not. long. No, it's not. <laughs> No, it is not long. You're going way too far. It's fine. Oh, it's right, not. You can even keep a straight face. I'm right? keeping a straight face. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. I don't care if y'all no, don't have to believe me. Y'all sit here and let Grace sit here and play these games with y'all that she don't want nobody to know who she is. She don't know that her WhatsApp said Grace Kennedy on it. Come on, is she? It even has a picture of their logo on her WhatsApp. That's how I figured it out. Go for the hot sauce, I'm going to show you. So when did you Go for the hot sauce, I'm going to show you. I'm not laughing. I laugh when I'm like talking serious all the time. No, no, no. <laughs> That's different when I'm going to whoop you. There's a difference. <laughs> no, you talk serious in a different way. Hold on. Packed for Grace, G-R-A-C-E, Kennedy, K-E-N-N-D-Y, Limited. You see that limited part? That means it's illegal. Let me see, Mom. No, it's not. Anything that says limited on it is illegal. No, that's no. It's, 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 let me not. see, Mom. Hi, Grace Kennedy Limited. Look at that. Limited does not mean it's illegal. In Jamaica, that's what it means. No, no it does not. Like, I don't right, believe I, this, this is food. Hold I'm on. Lying. Product of Jamaica, 73 Harvard Street, Mandeville, Jamaica, West Indies. Where does Grace live? I don't mind, but it's not illegal, though. Mandeville. Rich people place. So why we never go there, Mom? It's like, because they're rich there. We cannot <laughs> go there. So what are we, Mommy? Poor. <laughs> Compared to Grace Kennedy, we ain't got nothing. <laughs> oh, well, if she really is, like, her parents are actually billionaires because... Absolutely. It's a, it's a very mm -hmm. famous one. Mm-hmm. She had this logo on her WhatsApp picture. Because it says her name. I don't believe... See? She had that logo on her WhatsApp picture. I don't know. Quality since 1922. That doesn't mean she was born 1922. You know, her parents just knew that they were going to have a child named Grace. And then they gave her the name Grace because her parents' name is Grace, too. Mm -hmm. Christian's over there ignoring us, Daddy. How don't you just ask Grace for the recipe, Mom? That's a trade secret. You can't do that. It's on the back line. And they hold an international trademark. You see that R right there? That means register. It's on the back. You can't do that. But you can't, you can't put that. Like, you you can't do that. Are you you, you can't register that. I mean, you don't have to say, oh, um, I got this recipe from someone. You can just make make the sauce and uh -uh. tell everybody. Mm -mm. Never have to know. Huh? I'm getting deeper and deeper, aren't I? Yes, Mom. You really are, Mom. Limited that. means illegal. No, it does not. It's All right, good. Oh, no, don't listen to me. The other day, did not. What did I tell you about a solar eclipse? You I lied. Tell stories. <laughs> what did I say, what did I say about I solar eclipse? Tell a story, Mommy. Talking about we have a solar eclipse. What day? The next day. I'm telling a story. Wait, I what? Talked to Alexa, Mommy. And Alexa didn't say that because I already knew it was a telling story, Mommy. I already knew it. <laughs> you even asked Alexa, Mommy. What asked Alexa? Like Alexa was gonna know what the solar eclipse was, Mommy. No, it's 2023, yeah. She yeah. does know what a solar eclipse is. We're not in 2023 yet, Mommy. You know, in 2023, when there is a solar eclipse, every Tuesday, you can't go to school. Mommy, stop, Mommy. It's time to stop, Mommy. I had one when I was in third grade, Mommy. I had one solar eclipse when I was in third grade. I remember the solar eclipse. It's time to stop. I can go to school every day because you still made me go to school. Just like when there's a hurricane. And you said, time to go back. <laughs> and then maybe search it up, Mommy. Okay, I'm good. I'm back. <laughs> I told him whenever there's a solar eclipse, there's no school off to <laughs> And then he's sitting there like, for real? <sighs> Can 
of y'all tell I love to laugh? Because I really do. <laughs> My children get told all kind of fun facts. Fun facts. No, it's a different song. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. It's not that was It's real. Mm. Just like that saltfish. Where do you think that saltfish is imported from? France. No, I mean, stop. My, the my, sea? My, 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 my. There are saltfish mine around there, mine. Just like the ocean has salt in it, mine. Mm -hmm. The saltfish swim in the salt water, mine. No. It is not from France, mine. Cod is you... a freshwater fish that they salt. This is not cod. Ask Alexa. No, mine. mine. Act Siri. You, you, Act Siri. you realize France is not does not have any water ports, mine. Oh, that ports. Yes, they do. They're in water. No, but they don't use it. What do you think the cod is? It's in the little streets mine. that they use the gondolas on. Yeah, that's Italy, mine. That's France. That's Italy, mine. That's like Italy. <laughs> you don't even know you're talking about anymore, mine. That's Italy. Just like what I said. Um, what was what was another continent? Um, you said Dubai. No, no, you said Dubai. <laughs> I said do you realize Dubai is part of Asia? No, leave Asia alone. <laughs> I do this to them all the time. All the time. During the hurricane. I told them that because we had a, a hurricane and it was a Category 4, that means that time goes back nine hours. Yeah, mommy, you woke me up just to tell me that, mommy. Mm-hmm. So even though it might be Tuesday at 8 a.m., it's really Monday at 11 p.m., and they went and Googled it. <laughs> yeah, they got me good with the Italy one. I can't really say much. All right. I'm full. Give me my phone, son. Pass me my phone, cause I know Grace. Grace is in my in my my WhatsApp right now. Probably see it carrying on. <laughs> Sandra, you remember that? They were so concerned. I am related to the royal family of England, Prince <gasps> William. You remember William? Not me. Oh, are you are you still doing this for me? You're still doing this for me. Hello, I am royalty. Just because your last name is William. They are not. Yes, my last name is Williams. That's royalty. Mean, that's not mean you're royalty. Don't be mad because your last name is Smith. <laughs> that's not royalty. <laughs> Williams is. Well, you need to do Ancestry.com, Ryan. Because literally, you just make the... I did that already. I'm partly Irish. I'm Irish. I have a lot of light skin inside me. I have Irish, <laughs> Jamaican, well, African... Sense. Well, that also makes sense. American. That, also that don't mean nothing. Yeah. I'm South African, to Is be exact. Is thing as called Iraq? Huh? Yes, baby. Go on. Mm -hmm. That also still makes sense. I have a small amount of Caucasian from the Caucasus Mountains. I have a little bit of that. It's a little bit. The Caucasus Mountains is a real place. Okay, if you believe me or not. I don't really. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. Why not? <laughs> because you made, you, made, you made up too much stuff. And I just... I didn't make that up. Yes, you did. Junie had a little debate with you, too, about it. Remember? Hmm? Junie had a debate about it, too. No, he didn't. Yes, it was in the car at the time, too. About what? The cock is not... <laughs> it's real. This is why I track Caucasian people on my YouTube because I'm slightly Caucasian. Yes, you know, I'm related to Genghis Khan. I know that you like that for real. I'm not really. That's who you dressed up for, the Narachupai people. Oh, oh, you that's guys, how they that's a whole different place, man. <laughs> that's a whole different place. He's from Mongolia, man. Mimi for life? Oh, I told the kids that if they're a Category 4 hurricane, that means that time goes back nine hours and I made them Google it. And they were so serious about it. No, Alex went back to sleep. Yeah, Alex was glad. Adriana was in the bathroom Googling to see if what I said was true. You don't it have to say I was in the bathroom, Molly. It wasn't true. It was true. No, it wasn't. All right, good. All right, you, listen, you guys. I am just, I love to laugh and make jokes. And then they take everything literal to me. So 
it's like they're learning to not take me serious, which is not a good thing because when they're really serious, them they know the difference for some strange reason or another. Why what are y'all looking like that? Your tone. Excuse me, you can do what? No, the Caucasus Mountains is a real place, baby. That's that's actually where the origin of Caucasian people are from. Caucasian Caucasus Mountain, same thing. That's where they got their name from. That's actually real. Okay. I can tell you're being honest, mommy. How can you tell when I'm being honest? Because your voice changed. What do you mean? Because like how your voice changed right now? You got like, you have like, sometimes a low-pitch voice. So like right now, that's the exact voice. But you'll sit up like this whenever you're telling a story. Y'all watch me too much. And you play around You like tried that and see what happened to you. Remember that? Remember you knew my tone so well. When I told you about the demerits, huh? Y'all keep following oh, my no, tone. Oh, well, you no, know, you I always... Can't, you, you know, I can't tell how you act when you email me saying you have the merit. That's a different one. Good. Stop mommy, reading my tone. Do you, oh, you maybe walk out of class, mommy. And call you. That sounds personal. That sounds <laughs> like that's not my problem. You can't do that to somebody, mommy. What do you mean? Well, you told us... Because you swear you know my tone. I do know. Mommy, when good. you're writing an email to you, you can't really tell. You, you put exclamation points. Absolutely. That's how it's supposed to go. Yeah. <laughs> don't y'all don't plot and scheme on me. Don't come plot and scheme on me. Listen, I am I like to laugh and joke. That's all. But my kids know the difference. Believe that. Them no women are um, easily. Thank you, money. Why you threw that thing down like that? Huh. You full? Okay, go ahead. Eat the onions. You didn't eat no veggies. I will eat them. But they're onions. Eat them. I don't like onions. Eat one. Okay. Watch her. Watch her face. I gotta give y'all a joke. You can throw it away. <laughs> I gotta give y'all a joke. So I was oh y'all know y'all were on live when I did it when I took Adriana to the dentist and told them that we're gonna do premium ambassador. That's not funny at all. <laughs> I said she had to get a tooth pulled, and I was like, okay, is it between twenty and three dollars for the premium Amazon and three hundred dollars for numbing? And I chose the premium <laughs> Amazon. She thought I was so serious. Because you rather me have pain in my mouth. <laughs> Ambasol does not give pain. It numbs things. But Mom, it's a reason why it's three dollars. But it's premium. There's a difference. If, if it, it was premium, me, it would have been three hundred mine. No, Mom. But if it was your mouth, would you three hundred? Well, if it was you paying for it, then you could pick three hundred dollars. <laughs> Should have seen her face that day. <laughs> and I'm telling her, like, I chose the premium Amazon, it's cheaper. <laughs> and I ordered a braces repair kit on Amazon. You're not touching my mouth. You're not touching my mouth. <laughs> one, day, one day, I sat in the garage at my mom's house and I'm like, what color you want? <laughs> and I acted like I was ordering the stuff on Amazon. <laughs> to, to, to change their braces color. Listen, if we run out of money, that's what we have to do. <laughs> no, if we run out of money, yeah, we just go. I'll have my then. I get them out during March, won't I? I'll be out by then, actually, Mike. Hmm? By March. What? What'll be out by March? Braces. Braces. Oh, I that's good when you get in the retainer. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm, that's nice. Yes, you guys, I'm that kind of person. I saw another Like, year. I call my father and tell him that a man charged me $200 for premium air. Yeah, it's better than the regular air. I mean, everybody laughed at hmm. Grandpa yeah, thought it was real. When... Grandpa stuttered so many times. <laughs> it's just like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what is that, premium ear? Because <laughs> air is air. Grandpa went and Googled it and every day he called me back. I said, yeah, man, I, I was reading something about that. So I'll never forget it. I never forget it. He's like, yeah, man, I was reading something about that. I said, yeah, premium ear. <laughs> about it there's nothing to read about it this is not real ah let's find it that was one of the funniest funniest pranks i've ever done to grandpa i'm telling you that prank funniest prank here you go if anyone knows this prank you guys know that my dad was literally like what 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 to the point where Grandpa even tried to act like he knew what he was talking about. <laughs> so I'm calling my dad. 
iPad and I'm gonna do the premium air prank. You gotta see if he falls for it or not. And he did. He did. Really did. Hold on. Hello. Hey, Dad. Hey, what's up, Amira? Can you tell when okay? Grandpa was asleep? I got, I got a quick question, Daddy, right? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know a whole heap about cars, but I know enough, I think. Anyhow, today I was driving the car, <laughs> and I noticed that the light came on on the tires, so I pulled over to a Pet Boys. And when I went into the Pet Boys, the guy was like, he was going to hook me up. He was like, don't worry, I'm going to help you out. So he comes back and says that um, I needed to get, I guess I needed to get some type of air put in the tire. So he's like, they got two different kinds of air now. He's like, they got premium air and they got regular air. So me in my head, I'm like, okay, I always want the, you know, the better stuff. So I said, I'm going to get premium air. Yes, so I said, okay, because, you know, I drive a nice car. Yes, I'm like, okay, ma'am. I want the, the nice ear. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I asked him, what's the difference between the premium ear and the regular ear? He's like, the premium is, is going to last a lot longer. It's not going to go down again, whatever. So I said, okay. But then he, he came back. He came back and was like, when he came back, he after he put the air in the tire or whatever, he was gone for like maybe five minutes. He's like 275. I'm like, okay, $275? Yes, daddy. Well, I said $275 or $275? No, $275, $275. He said it's premium. That's good. Okay, and... Uh, so... So, 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 let me ask you this, right? It was more like you to have a slow lead. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's more likely, right? You have a little slowly, right? Grandpa tried to I mean, normally I would have gone to the tire. He tried to be so logical with it. I'm noticing every time I put the air in the tire, from like, you know, like a 7-Eleven or one of those little cheap stores, a couple months would go by and the air would go down. So the guy was like, he going to hook me up. So, you know, when somebody said it will hook you up, cool. So I'm like, okay. Jesus. Oh, yeah, my man. Yes. You got a you got a slow leak in your tire. It ain't leaking that bad, right? I tell you what. Well, he didn't say it was a slow right, leak, Daddy. He right, just right. said I just needed no. air, and then I, I paid the two hundred and seventy-five dollars. <laughs> so then when I got home, Junie was yelling at me like, "What do you mean premium air?" He's like, "What the hell is premium air?" That's that's. Baby, 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 you got scared. <laughs> ain't no such thing as no damn premium air. And the tire got a slow leak. All right, all right. You know why it, it didn't go down? That's fine. Right. You know. You know, I went out, you didn't drive over the weekend, right? You was away, right? And the car was parked. Yeah, the car was parked, but daddy, that's what I'm saying. I'm tired of the I'm tired of the air going down. So when he said premium, I said, okay, great. Right? I understand that part, right? But guess what now, right? So what are you trying to tell that the air ain't going loose, it ain't, you know, it ain't going slowly no more, the tires are tire fixed? Nope, he said that it's premium air, but when, when he did it, daddy, I swear, I think he used the same machine that he always used. That's what I'm saying. The air you put in there, what difference is it going to make? It's the time how you got to slow leak. I'm just, that's how you got to do slow leak. No, he said that's it's not. Leak. Daddy, yeah. I don't have a slow so, leak. I don't think I had a so, slow so, leak. So, 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 be a, be a, be a stick up in. Stick right? up in. So, how you, how you explain the air getting out of the time? I mean, the tires just lose air. <laughs> yeah, I know that, girl. I know that, man. But, you get mad. It can lead to the point where. You know, you see it like you that, then you got a slow leak. No, something. You so bad. Take it from your daddy been in cars for like, oh, oh. you got a little slow leak, either around the valve stem or probably around the rim or some damn way, but you got a little slow leak somewhere. Well, he, he, put some air in there. he just put air in there, daddy, and then I watched him do it. He was only gone for like five minutes. Okay, so I'm saying, did he even test the tires to see if he, if he got a leak or he just put some air in there. No, he just put air in there and then the light went away and everything went good. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But that ain't how it go, girl. That's not how it go. That is not how it go. Right? But you know, you better learn. You learn something. Let me let daddy tell you. Exactly. Well, he said it was premium, daddy. I understand that. I'm not going to debate on that. I'm I'm just saying, you think you're paying for what he tell you. That's what you pay for. Okay? But... <laughs> what he ain't telling you is that won't fix your problem. What is two months now from now 
Well, if two months now from now, you know, you go down. Three months from now. Oh my gosh. Down, Every you know, time I like, hear this one, I just so die of laughing because Grandpa Grandpa see you trying to be so logical. Well, what's the difference between the premium air and the regular air? I don't know. 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 Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. <sighs> it's all in laughter, you guys. I went and tried my mom with the same one the next day. My mom was like, stop with me, please. There's no such cash. You're looking too serious. Don't do that. Turn around. He doesn't, you know. Yeah. If you do, it, he does it every morning. He does it every morning. Every morning. Just, just, just him out. Because he knows that you're gonna come and take him out. When he does it, you just wait. That's what you don't. You don't even address him because he's gonna keep doing it. That's like how you used to, remember he used to do that for food. Mm -hmm. But he quickly stopped that. I sit right next to him and eat the food. So, yeah, you guys. Oh, remember when I was talking to you, I was saying that gray hair has its own, own texture? Look, you see my gray hairs? Four of them, I know. And then I have some more over here now. Look, you see them with their own texture? And I'm fully relaxed. Look at that. I should pop them out. Mm? Oh, you don't even understand. Listen, y'all see them grays? This is what I was telling you guys when I said gray hair has its own texture. Look at that. All of a sudden, I got gray hair all across the front of my head. I don't know why I'm going. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And you know, I plucked this one a couple times, and now all of a sudden, more have sprouted. Look at here. Look at here. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh my. Look at that. Wowzer. Oh no. Now I gotta start using the Clairol gray solutions on my hair. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. This is like overnight. No. I wonder if I have gray in here. Holy crap. 36 years old. Oh no. My hair is maturing. Let me stop. I don't care. What I'm going to do about it? I'm going to have to use the Clairol gray solutions now because I have gray. Eh? Grandma do I? Grandma die her hair every week? Almost. 
My gosh. What do you mean, Sharon? What gray hair? You don't see those hairs? Look at, look at those. They look like barbed wire. Oh, I'm going to have to start wearing hairstyles that cover my face. And then this little area right here is starting to look real suspect. Watch out. Whoa, watch the, oh my goodness. Watch gray hair. Holy crap. Mm -mm. Oh no, they're like wire. My hair needs premium hair. I can't stand you, Grace Kennedy. Guys, I'm just being funny. I don't really care about this gray hair like that. Not when there's hair color, hair color on the world. Uh-uh. And even then. Hmm? Uh huh. I'm telling you that Grace Kennedy is Grace is grasshopper. Uno, don't believe me. I won't hurt <coughs> I'm gonna go Google a picture. Hold on. Grace Kennedy Limited Daughter. <coughs> oh, wait a second. I'm I'm Googling a picture of their daughter. Mm-hmm. Ah, see it here? Look. Hold on. Don Webby is the, is the executive officer since 2011. He just came. Ha! See it here? Grace Burnett. Grace Barnes. Yeah. I didn't even say hello. Hi, I'm going through all the pictures right now. Look. You see this? Look, look, guys. You see all these people? Oh, I think she needs to tell us her cell phone. Look. You see the website, right? Grace Kennedy. All right. Mm-hmm. They all got a white guy on there, too. That's nice. Mm-mm. Sure. I'm going to up, man. Don't believe me. I'm don't believe me. Mm -hmm. Children of Grace Kennedy. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Copyright police on the way. <laughs> oh my. Thank you guys. <clears throat> Am I looking forward to the holidays? Sure. Exactly. It is the gray hair. It's not Pinocchio's nose. It's the gray hair. I got to stop telling stories. You see what happens? Remember the story of Pinocchio? Every time he told a lie, what happened to him? No so I don't tell lies. I tell stories. But you see what happens when you tell stories? That's why you end up with gray hair so young. You don't see how much gray hair you have from telling stories. You tell stories, you get gray hair. Huh? No, that wasn't a story. No, not the hurricane either. The solar eclipse was real. Okay. No, your grays grow. When you tell a story, your grays grow. Cause look at mine, all of a sudden, within 3.5 seconds, I got like six grays. I only had one. Watch there. 
It even looks like my hairline is receding just that fast. Whoa. I'm gonna have to start doing some down styles. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm coloring my hair tomorrow. Mm -mm. I'm, giving, I'm getting a whole color. I don't care if I don't get my hair done until Friday. I'm getting a color. That's gray. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. That makes you age. Okay, you calling me old. You just call me old to my face. She's like, this is me, you're getting older. So did you just call me old to my face? No. Why well, I'm not really disrespectful. Go to bed. What time is it? Go on to bed early. It's 9 08. Go to bed. It's bedtime. Now. I had to clear the counter. Hurry up. Tonetta, I'm just being funny, that's all. I need some edge restore, edge repair, restoration. I do, because I all need great. And then now my hair, like, oh man, my edge is starting to hurt too. <laughs> that's, that's when you know it's bad. Yeah, my edge started to hurt. I just discovered new gray hair. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm? You don't have no edges. <laughs> Bye, my head. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, so, yeah, all fun and games, by the way. I just like to make people laugh. Why not? Why not? Watch out. Ooh. And my hair is the dirty brown. I think I'm going to change this to red before Friday. I'm going to color this red. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to red. Am I, I'm going to burn Friday. No, Valerie, I'm not going to burn it all. Girl. I'm going to change this to red, though, before I get my hair done. And then dye the rest of it like a. I don't like black color anymore, so it's gonna be dark brown. Mm -mm. You know what I'm noticing? The gray hair hurts. You know, I'm wise, you know. Now that means that I have tons of wisdom. you guys i'm gonna go get myself together but thank you guys for tuning in to cook with me today i hope everybody yeah. enjoyed and you guys can try out the recipe to make your own saltfish and fried dumpling or saltfish and bake either or um but i will see everybody later tomorrow um for work uh tomorrow i think i started actually at nine o'clock um, I hope you guys laughed as much as I did this evening because it was just super funny. I was just dead serious about the Grace Kennedy thing, though, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that there. Anyhow, um, tomorrow I have a total of seven clients, <sighs> and I'm gonna be all by myself. <laughs> no, I've been doing this by myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I start tomorrow at nine. Why do I have two people at nine o'clock? Man. All right, so tomorrow's start time is 9, so I will be on live at 9 a.m. sharp. See everybody later.